Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter means to me being an advocate for your community and your race and supporting each other. The purpose of the Black Lives Matter movement is to draw attention to violence and harm that's caused against Black people, um, that has been caused against Black people for years. And I think the purpose of the movement is to not only draw attention to the fact that this harm happens in the Black community, but also um, really urging people to wake up to do something about it. This as an isolated incident. The reason why buildings are burning are not just for our brother, George Floyd. They're burning down because people here are saying to people in New York, to people in California, to people all across this nation, enough is enough. And now, let's take a look from a youth perspective. Hi, my name is Shanity Bailey, and my topic is about Black Lives Matter movement. Um, this affects me because I am a young black lady and I live in Chicago, which is a like, very violent city. So, um, yeah. And some changes I want to see is people listening, like the president, police officers, the government, just listening to what we have to say as black individuals. Our topic is Black Lives Matter. I chose it because I feel that I have some unsettled feelings about what has been happening. In some ways, it has affected my life and my perception of police in the majority of America's American society and values. I began to separate myself from social media in order to think, and I came to realize how, how people really were when their opinions came out about the protest. I would love to see more change in the U.S. when it comes to equality in, in the black and brown community, but that isn't promised. At the end of the day, we, I feel like we need to keep pushing for change even though it isn't promising right now until we get what we need and make specific demands. How you affected? Um, it's affected me because being an African American, specifically African American male, police officers killing us in the street, and it could happen to me. It could happen to anybody. It is an intolerable situation. It has been intolerable for 100 years. This demand. This is a tremendous amount to demand of people who are technically free in a free country, which is supposed to be the leader of the West. They have no idea what it costs those kids to go through that, to pick at a building, for example, and people upstairs in the building are spitting down on your head or trying to vomit down on you. You know, for all these hundreds of years, white people are going around saying they're better than anybody else. Sooner or later, they're gonna, they, have, they were bound to create a counterweight to this. Within the statement from James Baldwin about the Black Lives Matter movement, he discusses how people who are primarily black and brown are put into violent and poverty-ridden environments as they are within an oppressed group. Their protests result in violence due to the force used by police who expect violence from those people. This is definitely what has been occurring during the Black Lives Matter movement, which has been addressed by several other people as well. It's to feel a sense of community with people who are also upset and sad and outraged and confused, this trying to piece apart forms of protesting, one that is good protesting and one that is bad protesting, plays into something called respectability politics, meaning that you deserve more rights, you deserve more love and care if you perform or react a certain way. And if you do not perform or react a certain way that I agree with, that I approve of, then you are not deserving of rights. You are not deserving of care and well-being. 
either way, no matter how someone chooses to protest, they do not deserve to be beaten. They do not deserve to be handled or treated as though they are a paper bag or a non-human figure. The changes I would like to see is those officers that kill unarmed, unarmed black individuals to be charged immediately. And I can contribute by protesting or just speaking up more like on social media or something like that. I think justice means taking away resources from the entity that causes harm to black people and black communities taking away money from that in those institutions and investing money into black communities.